Hey guys and girls, so today I'm going to show you how you can send your prints straight to Octoprint from Cura. So we're going to need to install a plugin and to do that you need to have an account with uh, Ultimaker and you need to have logged in. Once we've done that we can click the marketplace button and then under plugins you'll see a whole uh, raft of plugins appear. It takes a, it takes a second, it's been a bit slow today. Okay, so here's all the plugins. And if we scroll down, we're looking for this one and it's called Octoprint Connection. We're gonna click that and we're gonna click install. Uh, accept the terms and conditions, obviously I'd advise you to read them. Okay, and then we need to quit Cura to restart it. So we'll do that now. Okay, so Cure is restarted. We now need to configure the plugin. So we're going to come up here to where your printers are. And I've got two printers installed. I've got the uh, Creality CR10 V2 and I've got the Creality Ender 3. So my Octoprint is currently on the Ender 3. So I'm going to click Manage Printers. And this is managing the Ender 3. And over here we've got a button appeared which is the Connect Octoprint. So we're going to click that. Okay, and as you can see, it's found my um, Raspberry Pi straight away, and that's because this little button down the bottom's ticked. You need to make sure it's the right one if you're running multiple uh, Raspberry Pis with Octoprint on. Um, if you if you're not sure, you can always manually add it. So you can click the Add button, put a name here for it, say like V2 or Octoprint 2 or whatever server it is, and then here you can put your IP address of that that Raspberry Pi. I'm happy with this one. This is the only one I'm running on the network at the moment. Now we need to get an API key. So to do that, we can just hit the request button. If for any reason the request button doesn't work, you can just open Octoprint on your browser. Um, I'll show you now. Okay, so you can just open Octoprint. You can go up to settings here and then API over here. Okay, that's if the request button doesn't work. If the request button works, what will happen is it will automatically load Octoprint anyway. And then you can get the API the same way by going to the settings, API, and you can grab the API from here. Okay. So we're going to do that now. I'm just going to grab the copy. Okay. So we'll grab the copy from here. Okay, so we just grab the copy button. So we just go up and we can just go up and hit the settings button go to API, copy the API and minimize the browser. Okay. And that's actually put it in, seems to put it in automatically. If it hasn't put it in automatically, which sometimes it won't, you can just paste it in, but that should be fine. Close that, close that. And that should have set up and be ready. So let's load a model in. So let's grab a recent model. So there's my spool holder and I'm just going to hit slice and you can see here we've got the print with octoprint button and if we hit that there we go it loads the monitoring the bed's starting to heat the hot end will get hot and then it will print now a few little tips and tricks okay if you get an error when you print when you press um, print with or send to octoprint and if it comes up with a 404 uh, error that is because your api key isn't being recognized by octoprint 
So what you can do and what I would suggest you do is you generate a new API key. Now that means you've got to put that API key into everything, every other plugin that uses an API with Octoprim. But that is the only way I found to get it to resolve. There is another another thing that might be causing it and I'll show you that now. So in Octoprint, we can see that um, there's a little access request that's come up and it says Cura has requested access to control Octoprint through the API. And we're just going to click allow on that. And that should resolve the for any other 404 issues or any other issues you're getting. So I hope that's been helpful and that should save a little bit of time on your prints. So rather than having to save the file and then manually uploading to Octoprint, you can send it straight to Octoprint. I found this quite useful. It's quite reliable. Don't seem to have any issues. Uh, if you shut the computer down, it still prints as long as you don't turn your Raspberry Pi off. Um, so no, no real issues there. If it has helped you out, if you've liked that tip and that trick, please do me a big favor, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And that way you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks a lot.